Hey there everybody, how's it going? My name is Samurai, welcome everybody back to Final Fantasy XIV with Elliot Rosebetta, a lovely little monk. And I want to go ahead and actually start off the video by thanking Dean so much for uh, do, uh, giving a couple of donations uh, over on a Final Fantasy stream. And uh, as you request, you asked me to get something nice for Elliot. And I thought, what would be nice and pugilist-like? You know, what would be nothing, you know, what would be the best pugilist gear to have? And I thought, you know what makes me think of a pugilist, you know, the old true monk, is Ida's gear. Ida's gear with the legs, the coat and everything. I do have the uh, the headgear that I was thinking maybe to eventually glamour on, uh, but I think I'm gonna maybe glamour that a little bit later. Uh, otherwise, I'll look very much like uh, <laughs> very much like Ida. But nevertheless, Dean, thank you so much for donations. I really appreciate. It. And as per your request. We do. Let's go ahead and retrieve that. See how it looks all together, right? Let's see how it looks all together. Might just clamber together onto Elliot here. Uh, as per request, I went ahead and got Elliot something nice. Look at that! It looks so cool. I love how the ears stick out and everything. It looks so good with that mask on and something like it's just like the headpiece as well. It looks really cool and has all these cool decorations on the sides as well. I love it. It looks amazing. I absolutely love it. I'm thinking we will not have the headgear for a while because I still want to be able to see her eyes. But once we start ad adventures over in uh, Ishgard, we'll probably have you know some sort of headgear on us just in case. You know, keep uh, keep all this snow away you know from our eyes. I think it'd be pretty cool, pretty nifty. I wish there was an option to um, actually use the headgear as a visor and actually move the visor maybe back or maybe take it off so you can see her eyes or something. But that's not possible. Nevertheless, though. Uh, thank you so much, Dean, again. Once again, my man, thank you. Nevertheless, Elliot Gemma, welcome everybody to Final Fantasy XIV. Today, we're going to be continuing the adventures of Elliot Rose Battle, and our next quest is The Sea Rises. We're going to be coming up very close, very soon, to a Leviathan fight. Yes, actually fighting Leviathan. Some of you maybe uh, have fought him before earlier in Final Fantasy XV, if you've been keeping up with that game. Uh, I am yet to even reach that point in that game. <laughs> but in 14, we're going to be playing, you know, we gotta be fighting some Leviathan. It's actually a really cool fight, honestly. One of the, one of the really exciting fights, and one of the ones that with like my favorite second phase music. Oh, I, I, I can't wait till we do Shiva, Shiva as well. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. Anyway, <laughs> one at a time, one at a time. Let's go take care of Leviathan first. So we learned from, we learned from, <coughs> learned from our sources that the. I believe what they call the Myrmidons, I think. I, th I believe that was their name. We learned from Ishtola that Myrmidons are. Is that her, is her name? I feel like that might be their name, the Myrmidons. Makes sense, right? The water people? Sea people? Anyway, the. So we'll call them Myrmidons for now. The Myrmidons are trying to summon a primal, and they're trying to summon Leviathan. So something is pushing them towards using their Atherite, you know, I guess Atherite and the crystals they collected in order to summon the great deity, the great god. And we have to take care of it, we have to stop it. Maybe before we do that, what have we got going on here with Ito 1? Hello? What quest is she gonna give us? Rising to the challenge, oh, please will carelessness of Wench's customers. I don't know what this quest is gonna pertain to, but I will come back and do it. See, quest markers with a blue, like, outline on them? means it's something special, something unique. If it was just a regular side quest, it would have a, like a yellowish or bronze background, but this one has a blue background, it means there might be something extra with that particular quest, like something that, you know, a new phase that unlocks, a new quest chain, you know, those unique quest chain that unlocks, or new events in a locks. Oh, I remember this place, I remember this place. I remember a long time ago, um, I don't even a long time ago, but about a year ago, we did the Valentine's Day event, the De Valentine here in this place, and we had to go to three oracles and see how well our characters match with other people's characters. <laughs> that was actually kind of fun, I still remember that. I went and rewatched that, and I realized how much of a like increase in quality we got going on here for, you know, for the channel in general. Anyway, we need to head over to Merwub at the command room in Limson and Minsa. The command room, I believe the command room is over there, right? I'm pretty sure the command room was actually in the, uh, with the maelstrom. Let me check here. Uh, map. It points us to Limsa. Uh-huh, understandable. Come on, show me the map. There you go. Oh, it's not showing me the map. There you go. Show me the map. The sea rises. Oh, wait, no mind. Yeah, yeah, it's at the elevator. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be at the elevator. Also, since we are here, let's see what the, uh, storm lieutenant got for us. Hello there. 
What does this quest pertain to? Highway robbery. Oh, to unlock the beast stripes. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, we could still do that, the highway robbery quest. Easily. Elliot, I know not what brings you to Maelstrom Command this day, but I can hardly fault your timing. Ah, uh, we have a situation on our hands, and we do. Not a day ago, a convoy of, our, of ours was ambushed and rode to Limsa. A, goody, uh, a god, goodly shipment of sawpaper plunder from our very hands. The scurvy dogs responsible for the attack were swiftly and under act struck, for the act struck swiftly and under darkness. Damn it! <laughs> so we've yet to figure out what they are. Much as bring them to justice. Saltpeter, as you may know, is a key ingredient in fashioning fire sand. Whatever our foe might be plotting, like like as not, it involves an earthy, an an earthy, hurdy. Earth the share of fiery death and destruction. Okay, so they're trying to make uh they're trying to make a uh, fire sandwich, which I guess will be like the powder. I guess yeah, gunpowder pretty much. Commanders detached and lead regiment of the field to investigate. But clues have proved harder to come by than a uh, half decent pint of ale at sea. Uh, leading the investigation is a good com uh, comrade of mine. While I'd like uh, while I'd like nothing more than lend me strength to search, I can't very well shirk my duties here. If you find you're itching for adventure, you could do worse than you could do worse than to make for a swift perch and seek out Lieutenant uh, Skatewiz, right? Skatewiz, Skatewiz, yeah. Just say that uh, that Trache sent you. Is that his name? Trakret, Trakriet, Trakriet. <laughs> Limsa names are complicated. <laughs> I, I know I complain about like Mikoti names that are hard to say, but Limsa names are complicated. Uh, there is another side quest over here from the uh, Rashakt. Rashakt Riki. Rashakt, Rashakt Riki? I guess. I guess that would be a proper name. Hi, how's it going? They came from the deep. <gasps> yeah, no, that's another beast drop quest for, uh, I believe, more Mormodon, actually. Your hero must be exceptional, Elliot. Hmm? If you didn't overheard the Link Pearl report, then why... Well, no matter. We're here now, we could certainly use your aid. I've just received word that the raiders have sunk a civil, uh, civilian vessel in the Strait of Merlthor. One of our warships is on the route as we speak, though. I feel there will be little left of them to find. I'm uncomfortably familiar with the tales of pirate looting and even com commandeering the targets, but to sink a ship entire, an excessively brutal act even for buccaneers. No, I'd wager cold, hard coin that those thrice damned fishbacks are behind us. Them and the Serpent Reaver lackeys. The Sahagin have much to answer for. The Sahagin, there we go, that's her name. Vengeance will be forthcoming, but let us first focus on rescuing the poor souls we may. While the warship scouts the waters, I could have you head to Eastern Lanosha and look for any survivors washed up on the sands of Bloodshore. One of my soldiers, Private Buffark, will have been deployed to coordinate the search. Speak with him when you arrive, and he will direct your efforts to where they're most needed. May Lyman guide your steps. Lehman? Lehman. I'm guessing it's Lehman. Okay. Well, let's see if we can uh, put on Fist of Wind. We gotta head over downwards. Yeah, we gotta head over downstairs to talk to Merwoob. And on our way to attuning ourselves to Leviathan, we can also deal with the Sah again and actually unlock the Beast Trap quest. I haven't really finished anything regarding the Amaja yet. Oh, Amaja? God, it's... <laughs> I wish there was like... Okay, there has to be some sort of like a YouTube channel, right? Which allows you... Which lets you listen to the proper pronunciations of this terminology, right? It's, if there is, like seriously, if there is the reason, somebody please start a YouTube channel and teach me how to pronounce all these words, right? Just get a, like a decent sounding mic and then just pronounce it three or four times so people can hear the audible version of it. <laughs> so I can learn this stuff. But anyway, uh, if, if there's a channel like that, please link, it, please link it to me, that'd be great. Hi, Xanthiel. You expected. Pray take the lift to the command room. Now proceed to the command room? Yes, please. Gladly. And there is Merlewood. Hello there, ma'am. How's it going? Her cabin looks really cool. I love it. Except I feel like something is missing over here. Feels like there should be a painting or something, right? Maybe there isn't. Yet, maybe. She does have a gorgeous view from the back. I mean, look at this. It's beautiful. And has... The, the thing on a ship? Yeah, I think also the things on a ship, the tubes, the communication tubes. Sorry, I'm getting behind the desk there, Merwood. Welcome, friends. I take you still as appraised you of the situation. 
Let us waste no time then. According to our best intelligence, the Sahagin had no crystals enough to summon the gods. Alas, we did not count on the Serpent Reavers venturing as far as Stanilan to supplement the cash. For our short-sightedness, we were faced with the grim prospect of Leviathan's imminent return. Needless to say, I am not inclined to let the fishbacks have their way. Even as we speak, the Maelstrom makes ready to launch a large-scale operation to thwart the summoning, as we would be welcome the science support and endeavor. But if, God forbid, our efforts should come to naught, I will need, need to trouble you for more than mere support. Much as I did when uh, Titan was... T uh, Titan... <laughs> yeah, sorry. Much as I knew when Titan last walked these lands. Of course, you can have our support. Lady Minfilia, I am I'm given to understand that you mean to accompany our soldiers to the front lines. I can assume that you will have sound reasons for doing so. I do, Admiral, but I would rather not be drawn on the nature. I will say only that there is something I would see with my own eyes. Is that so? Well, I'm no stubborn. Well, I'm not so stubborn as to deny the wish of one whose aid I require. But precautions must be taken. I should require that you remain by the side at, my time, at all times. Well, that's settled. Let us speak on the operation. Elliot, Maelstrom scouts are currently re re reconnoitering, reconnoitering, reconnoitering Sahagin movements within Sapsa spawning grounds. Upon completing the mission, they return to the operation staging point at Camp Skull Valley. I want you to make your way to there forth, uh, forthwith, that you might be appraised of latest intelligence. Commando Falkbeardo has changed uh, has charge of the garrison. Okay, sounds good. We can do that. Speak with Wilfark at the Bloodshore. Came from the deep. Oh wait, no, that's a wrong quest line. Uh, the sea rises. That's what we need. There we go. Western Lanosha. Oh, that's not Western Lanosha. Give me a sec here. Let me just go ahead and actually teleport there right now. Western Lanosha. Boop. Airport. I guess we can only go to the airport for now. So we'll get there. And I believe we can actually do the. They came from the deep as well to deal with Sahagin. Sahagin. How do we pronounce it? The fish people. The Myrmidons, I guess. Yeah, sorta. <laughs> All right, now that we're here, we got actually a lot of quests. We've got to talk to Diamante later. I'm guessing that's to unlock a dungeon. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. We got, uh, I believe that's for leaves. Yeah, leaves of Elport. I'm not gonna worry about that. We just head over to Camskal Valley. Oh, yeah, I've been there before. Yeah, yeah, I've been there a couple times. Let's go ahead and summon our trusted Chocobo and head off into the sunset. Bam, bam. I gotta turn off the uh, the mouth music. As much as I do like it, <laughs> having to you know listen to that all the time will be a little bit obnoxious here. <laughs> but I'd rather hear to the you know the surroundings of this place. You know, It'd be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and hide the chat and stuff. See, I kind of like when it comes to recording when I don't really look at the chat. As much as I do want to, I do want to see the messages. Don't get me wrong. Like I do want to see the messages. Hi, Thankred. He's just waiting for us here. Uh, it's just, it's a lot better for me to focus on everything that's going on without the uh, the chat in front of me. Boop. There we go. There's Falk Birda. Falk Birda, hello there. I've been expecting you, Sign of the Summer Dawn. On behalf of the men and women here, I thank you for your cooperation. The safety of our citizens is paramount. With your aid, we'll prevent Leviathan's return. Mm hmm, no problem. Uh, here's next of casting, healing. I think I'm just gonna pick this over piece. There you go. Fireworks and fish don't mix. As you may already know, Maelstrom scouts have been dispatched to reconnoiter. Uh, reconnoiter. Reconnoiter. Okay, not, not a word I use often. Okay then. Reconnoiter the saps of spawning grounds. Among other things, they have orders to determine whether the Leviathan might emerge, assuming it comes to that. That our scouts might move unhindered and return unscathed. Diversionary maneuvers are present underway. In charge of these maneuvers is Oju. Ujigal. If you're otherwise unoccupied, perhaps you'll be willing to offer her your aid. Yeah, no problem, I can help out. Where's Ujigal at? Or Ujigal? Let's see if I can find her. Uh, where is she? Is she at the front? Is she inside? I don't see her. Wait, she's probably at the top, isn't she? Probably. Speak with Ujigal. Let me see if I can find her. She's somewhere around here. Oh, she was behind us the whole time. Hi, hello there. And Yugiri is here. Hi, Yugiri. How's it going? What's her thoughts on this? 
A soldier of the Maelstrom has kindly furnished me with information of the enemy. Armed with this knowledge, I promise you that my presence will count for something. Awesome. It's good that we got you, Gideon, on our side. You here to help with the diversion? Aren't you supposed to be that irreplaceable adventurer the success of the operation is, hinder <laughs> is hinting on? I'm inclined to say it's not worth risking your neck for something so trifling such as this. But if a hero insists, well, who am I to argue? Here, take these explosives. Use them to blow the Sahai game brave sky high, create a commotion in half stone, the likes of which the fishback have never seen. That ought to keep them good and occupied. Oh, and any event of Sahai game come after you. Doesn't need to be shy. Stay around, get yourself acquainted. What it takes to buy more time for our scouts. Okay, sounds good. We can do that. No problema. I think we have to enter from. Uh, we can either enter from the north, I believe. Or the south. I think it's okay for us to enter from the north. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over this way. Nope. That jump didn't really <laughs> get me across. Let's get my chocobo out. Alright, time to deal with some Sahagin. Or Sahagin. Let's see if we can find him out here. Is that somebody I know over there? It's following me? Hello? Maybe they aren't following me. I don't know, actually. <laughs> it looked like they were following me for a second. Let's go ahead and head over into this way and deal with some Sahagin. This is the one thing I've never really done too much around uh, around my board and my main character. Like, oh, the beast tribe quest for the uh, the main races, or I guess the starting races, uh, or the starting beast tribes for uh, Rama Born. I've never really done any of that. So it'd be cool to eventually come back here and do this. Okay, now this is where the area gets really cool and interesting. We got this like sea areas. I'm guessing this place was like flooded before or something. Because it has this really just really cool looking just like I guess structures, like sea structures. Looks cool, doesn't it? Oh my god, looks actually really awesome. Oh, uh, what do I got here? A Savagan Pavis. We can go ahead and blow that up. It was a Hagen Pavis. Move it up. There you go. And boop. Perfect. And we got some sentries to deal with. Let's go and start off with them. Get myself back into combat, back into groove of things. Perfect. Very nice. Good, 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 good. Nope, oh, I think I repeated two attacks at once. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Oh well. Whoops. Okay, now we gotta deal with uh, Sahagin Pavis as well. Another Sahagin Pavis. Uh, there is the Nun. I'm gonna avoid the Nun. I should probably deal with the Sahagin over here. So it doesn't interrupt me. Perfect. Okay, deal with uh, this particular thing. Back up. And... Uh, boom. No Sahagin around, good. Alright, we gotta find a couple more Pavis around here. I'm gonna avoid that uh, hunt over there, the Nan. I'm gonna go ahead and avoid him as best as I can. If we pick a fight with him, he is a... Kinda like a war boss, like a world hunt. He would kill me, even though I'm a lot better geared than him, I would think. He would still end up wrecking me. Okay, let's go and blow this up as well. Okay, no Sahagin for now. I think we're good to go. We should probably try to avoid a lot of them. There's a lot of enemies over here. Holy hell. Alright, let's make our way to the left then. Let's see if you can head over to the left. There's a ballista. I'm gonna avoid these guys. There you go. Deal with this and blow it up. Probably gonna come a couple of them here. Yep, we got a sentry. Actually, a couple of sentries. So I can see a little better. <laughs> okay, this guy, charge. There you go. Got a perfect charge on him. And now we attracted two of them. Alright. Nice. Okay, we gotta find one more... One more of these... Uh, Walls that we gotta destroy. Let me see if I can find one around here. Is it behind me? It's around here somewhere. I think I saw it like a second ago. Oh, uh, this player over here, <laughs> Amber Pen uh, Pendragon, is actually doing the same quest that I'm doing right now. Nice! I'm gonna go ahead and help him out. No, come here. Come here, Sahagin. Nah, -uh. 
Ooh, leave that player alone, please. Thank you. There you go. And done. Oh, there we go. There's a Pavis. Thank you so much for showing me. Really appreciate that. Go and destroy this one. There we go. That spawns one sentry. We can easily deal with that. Put up a dot in it, because why not? Nice. Alright, good. That was actually done pretty well. Uh, what else do we have around this area here? Uh, let me check. I believe someone around here also had a beast trap quest to deal with, right? Pretty sure. Let me check here. Came from the deep. As okay, never mind. That's gonna be east of the ocean. Never mind. That's gonna be another beast trap quest completely. All right, not gonna worry about it for now. All right. And now we need to head back. Yeah, we need to go ahead and head back then. Go ahead and head back to uh to what is the place called again? To Camp Skull Valley. There we go. There's a big wall, a big sturdy wall protecting us. I love it. Seriously, like. <laughs> Limson architecture looks really military like, and that's what I absolutely love about it. It has that feel of like this, I guess, weird. It has a weird safety feel. It's kind of hard to describe, to be completely honest. <laughs> oh well, it's not a big of a deal. Let's go ahead and head back over here. There you go. Maybe I should just join the, uh. <laughs> Maybe I should join the grand company of the, uh, the Maelstrom if I like it so much. <laughs> I mean, possibly. That'd be pretty cool. You know, they do have the Marauder class that I need to re-level for my uh, class, uh, class cross-class. There we go, Storm Commander. Sounds like the diversion was success. I heard the fireworks all the way from here. My thanks, friend. We've done all we can for the scouts. All that's left is to pray that they have returned safely. Okay, gonna go ahead and take this. What's next? Scouts in distress. Our scouts are long do you? I hear that ill may be ill may have befallen them, for better or worse. We might ascertain their fate if it's not too much to ask. I would have you aid us in the search. Our five scouts have ventured in Sapsa all Sapsa all hold. Here, take this task and rest, uh, take this flask of restorative, uh, or rest, task. Take this flask of restorative to tend those who may be, have been wounded. There we go. No pains but to even consider the notion. If they if they have perished, circumstance of permitting, as it should recover the bodies. But no means to venture too deep into the enemy territory, however, we can ill afford to lose you at this juncture. Alright, so we're gonna have to deal with uh, our own people here. So there's a quest down here that I've probably forgotten to do. What is it for? Highway robbery. Oh, it's oh yeah, it's for another beast drop ghost. Yeah, yeah. And then I did not tune to Swoop Birch. I'm gonna have to fix that eventually. See, can I jump over the wall? I wonder if I can. Maybe if I get like a running start or something. I just want to see if there's a way for us to, you know, get off from one side to the other without hitting a barrier. I wonder if I could jump like this. Ali, you. Nope, never mind. It blocks me completely. <laughs> never mind. All right, this time around, I'm gonna head over from the uh, from the south area here, from the south side. Also, I just realized that my compass for some reason is. Uh, there we go. My compass was turning with me. I really don't like that. It feels a little bit odd. I'd rather have the compass, like, stationary and have my characters, like, I can move around. See? If you look at the compass over there. Because it just feels a little bit better. Because I can tell, you know, where the north is, south is, east and west. And kind of adjust according to that. Compared to, let's say, if it rotates with me. That'd be a little bit confusing. Lots of fates to do here. I'm guessing these fates are here if people want to do the... Animal weapon? I know if for animal weapon you need a lot of grinding, and animal weapon is like the big weapon for your class that everybody, you know, everybody in the mother tries to work towards because it's just, you know, really good. I think I'm gonna end up skipping on that sadly, but next expansion, hopefully, I can, you know, properly catch up. That'd be nice.